I already knew stuff. Okay, I guess. Oh, I guess I know now. Now that things are actually shady. Cultists. Yep. Ah! Ignoring everything else, getting the base. Can you guys help with the mage? Mage is strong. Thanks. One piece down. Okay, now we can. Now we can move on and attack on. Want to get that out of the way? What I was saying was, I assume things were shady, but I guess yes, then I saw something that was shady. But also, why who, why would they keep a corpse just in the back of the shop? That doesn't make sense. But yeah, if I miss something in one of the houses too, I guess I'll go check out the houses if I can find them. After I loot the corpse that I thought I already got. Inventory full? Oh no. What do I want to drop? What do I want to drop? Um. I only have one acid flask. Let's just drop that. We'll take that. Cool. Okay. They are dumb. Like, I didn't think I was going to be killing this whole village here. You know? But it is what it is. As you say. Here's a question. I killed the shopkeeper. Why can't I lose his body for all the money that he You know? I mean, what? I can't take it because the money is bloody now? Like... I don't know. Alright, if you want to find me, come find me, dude. You're punching me. I'm not too intimidated. Because that would be too OP. We'll just make it so he doesn't have a lot of money to begin with. I don't know. I mean, you shouldn't be able to sell infinitely to a shopkeeper. Anyway. I think we work well together. We do work well together. That's why I keep us with this uh, composition. I oh, can't loot those guys, I guess. Oh, Morrigan can level. Sweet. Okay. As you say. Metal shard. Can't pick it up. Well, I'll leave it there for now. Alright, let's go back in the villager house and find that thing that I missed. Is it just a book? Is there something... Oh, is it this? This altar appears to have been used recently. A pool of blood remains, running over the sides and dark rivulets. I was not expecting to find something so unsettling. Used for food preparation, perhaps? <laughs> That's what I thought it was at first. Um, I don't think so. I'm just trying to be optimistic. The other explanation is slightly more disturbing. Yeah. That is human blood. <laughs> you, how do you know? I just do. I also know that no one can lose that much blood and live. Yeah. Now the quest is updated. I got a sweet screenshot, too. And now we go. Could pass off some gifts. Can I do that now? I thought I had to be in the, in the camp to do that. Oh, right. No, I just, like, take control of the party member. Then I take a gift. Or, like, then I take it, right? Let's see, so... Gifts. Where are my gifts? Are they in other? Um, here, you can have... You can have this. A fine gift. You have my thanks. You're welcome, Morrigan. Okay. As you say. I'll take that. I still can't pick this up, huh? I could have if the spirit bomb had been, like thing. What gifts do I have? Um, other, yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so I have ale. Um. Symbol of Andraste. Maybe Liliana would like that. She likes Andraste, right? I. That's a wonderful. She loved it. I'm a great gift giver. Morgan likes jewelry, Liliana clothes, and graceful stuff, and Alistair likes weird occult. Alistair likes weird occult? I didn't know that. Okay. The rest of that makes sense. That's what I had gathered. I was tempted to give Alistair, like, the ale or something, just because why not? But I didn't have any specific reason. All right, Morgan. I don't remember if I wanted you to get anything in particular. We're moving up toward Crushing Prison. Oh, which means I want you to have magic. So magic all the way up. And now we can give you that thing, Crushing Prison. The caster encloses the target in a closing cage of telekinetic force, inflicting spirit damage for the duration and possibly shattering those that have been petrified or frozen solid. Yay, good work. Okay, tactics. Um. Oh, sorry, that was Morrigan, yeah. I don't know how often she's she uses this other stuff. I and mean, I don't want to take uh I kinda like all of this. Those are all good tactics. Um Oh, I'm looking at force field, that's the wrong one. She doesn't even have it on her on her list right here. Maybe in place of lightning? And then I could just try to use lightning myself, I guess, sometimes? Okay. I was also tempted to get rid of horror because I'm hoping that, like, Alistair's taunt or whatever. Uh, not taunt. What does he have? He has one of those tanky kinds what of things. What do you wish of me? Nothing. But thanks. Um, but just in case, I don't want to make her get rid of that. As you say. Okay, well, now that I have seen the altar, let's go back into the shop and see if seeing that the corpse triggers anything. Because the corpse, I feel, should trigger something. Even without seeing the altar. But if you have to see one before the other, that's fine. Yeah, no, they don't care about the corpse. Like, the the person that lost blood, they don't care. The actual blood, oh, they care about that. All right, from here, we'll go left. Grab the death root. Yeah, I need to sell things at some point, otherwise I'm going to be able to... I'm gonna be very limited. Oh, wait, no, where am I going? Where is this? That's a world map. Oh. Well, I mean, okay, hold on. Let me check the journal. What does it actually say about the village? So, find the urn. Brother Genitivi's research suggests that the village of Haven in the mountains to the west might have some clues as to the location of the urn. Brother Genitivi must have gone to Haven to continue his search. Find out what the villagers of Haven are hiding. You've seen some strange things in Haven. Not everything is what it seems, and the villagers are probably hiding something. All right. So I'm going to actually leave world map. I'm going to go to the party camp, and I'm going to sell some things, and then I'm going to come back. So, oh, yeah, exactly, Mojo. I'm going to head to camp and sell those stuff. Because if I get into big fights and, you know, I kill more things, and I, or I find, like, Chester stuff, I want to have some space. You know, like what you'd expect. All right, to the shop. Don't try to sell your boy. Are you sure I can't interest you in this hat? A pair of earrings, perhaps? A cheese knife? I'm sure you'll be... All right. Bring up the window. Thank you. Okay, my wares. I have this lovely axe. 
that you can have. And an axe. And another axe. Um, I don't need this short bow. I don't need these bolts. I'm not using a crossbow at the moment. So you can have those. Crystal. Crystals. Crystal. 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 I don't need the bomb. Or the bomb. Don't really use elixirs. More traps, honestly. Spirit shard. Gonna keep the mushrooms for now. Don't think I need those. Scale gloves? Nah. I'll sell the, ch the steel heavy chainmail boots. I think I'll just get rid of this. Um, yeah, I'll just, maybe. Because Morgan can only wear light stuff, I believe. Right? You should keep the clear and flawless crystals. Oh, okay. Just the flawed ones? I think they were just flawed. Like these ones. Cool. Alright, well we've made some space. Good news. Now we can leave. So we'll head back out with the usual party. Indeed. indeed. Yes. And back to Haven we go. So I don't know how much longer I'm going to be streaming at this point. I'm thinking I'll try to go for another hour to have a, a five-hour stream here. Um, I don't know how much we can really do in that time. Like, I don't know if that'll be all of Haven. Or if Haven is, like, already almost done or something. But, yeah. I felt like there weren't many options for enchanting, but maybe I misunderstood how that worked. Let's check out this house. We cannot. Um. There's, like, nothing to do back here. Can't even take that plant. Just to check the map again. Those are both world map. What about up to the left? Did I already try that? Is that what led to the... No, up there it looks different. I was thinking about what led to that like little dock. Yeah, but these are different. Is it just one dude? Where'd this one dude come from? Alright, one dude it is. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, let's knock down this dude. Smart of it. Just like fun. Can I loot these guys before I move on? Eh? No? Shame. Okay. Also, word spread super quickly that I killed the shopkeeper. I don't know how every like as soon as I left the shop. Everyone attacked, you know? And, well, I mean, that's assuming that if I had left the shop without killing him, that they wouldn't have attacked, but... Maybe, we maybe as soon as I went in, everyone was gathered. Pleasure. We are chosen by the Holy and Beloved to be her guardians. 
This sacred duty is given to us alone. Rejoice, my brethren, and prepare your hearts to receive her. Okay. Lift up your voices and despair not, for she will raise her faithful servants to glory when her... Did you just notice me? Ah, welcome. I heard we had a visitor wandering about the village. I trust you've enjoyed your time in Haven so far. It's been great, yeah. Um, enough. We're well past pretending this village is normal. You killed the Knights of Redcliffe. I saw the bodies. I found bloodstained altars, knives. What's going on? Your people aren't very welcoming. Yeah, number three. Explain this, yourself. This, my brothers, is what happens when you let an outsider into the village. They have no respect for our privacy. She will oh, tell no, others of us if we let her. Word will spread, and then what? You, stranger, do not understand our ways. You would bring war to Haven in your ignorance. These kind of people just kind of, they're baffling, you know? It's just like, you don't understand. Something, something, ignorance, all that crap, right? Well, I, I just explicitly asked you what was going on. I asked you for your explanation. I gave you a chance, you know? I was willing to hear you out, and then you're just going to come at me with that. That's nothing. That's not a valid response. You're right about me bringing more on you. You deserve it. What about Brother Jen and TV? What have you done to him? Now that's just an exaggeration. <laughs> I don't have to tell anyone we could break something out. What have you done to Brother Jen and TV? We don't owe you any explanations for our actions. We have a sacred duty. Failure to protect her would be a greater sin. All will be forgiven. All right, I guess we're murdering these guys. Okay, well, he's down. I thought he would be harder than that. No. And they're all dead. Cool. Coltus medallion. Um, a very large bronze disc bearing the symbol of Andraste. Alright, some of these have stuff. Lots of runes. Um, any books for me? No? Okay. Just gonna check this room first before we move on. Ah, there's a brick wall. Secret room. Ah, not yet. <laughs> Hold on, I'll be there in a moment. It shall be done. Um, Ring of Faith, what is this one? Oh, it's for mages only, plus 10% fire damage. Morrigan, I don't currently have fire spells on her, I don't think. Small silver bar. That's it. It's just a bar as a gift. Okay. Interesting. As you like. Boots. And it looks like that's it for this room. Cool. So now for another quick quick save. Are you just stretching? He seems okay. I thought he was injured when I first came in, but he's just he's just like chilling. Weird. Small metal bound shield. Um that doesn't seem super powerful. Cause I mean like the one that Alistair's using is a four defense, isn't it? So that doesn't seem very good. Time for some yoga. Exactly. That's us. That's what it looked like. I was expecting him to like raise his leg at that point. I mean, not actually, but it just looked like that's what he was gonna do. Who are you? They, they sent you to finish it. Melandre, I'm here to help you. You don't know how glad I am to see someone who isn't from this village. I, oh. I groans. <sighs> the leg's not doing so well, and I can't feel my foot. Have you tried touching it? Morrigan, can you do anything? The leg is wounded, but...
but that will heal in time. The foot may have to come off. How do you know? I thought you might say that. But if the hmm. foot goes, it goes. There are more important things than an old man's feet. That's true. Don't have time to rest now. I'm so close. The urn is just up that mountain. Um, I need to find the ashes. Arlie may get sicker by the day. The Arl is sick. Will he live? Um, the Arl was poisoned under Logan's orders. Politics never did anyone any good. Nope. The Arl is a noble soul. But the ashes, the ashes will surely cure him. Haven lies in the shadow of the mountain that holds the urn. Ah. There is an old temple there built to protect it. The door is always locked. But I know what the key is. What is it? Irik wears a medallion that opens the temple door. I've seen what he does with it. Well, good. I have the medallion now. This medallion? Yes. That is your key. Take me to the mountainside, and I will show you. Um, are you sure you can make the journey? Don't tell me how to open the door. Could you answer some questions for me first? Um, in a while. I want to make sure it's safe outside. Are you sure you can make the journey? It is not that far, and will you let me lean on you? For the urn, any pain is worth enduring. Um, let me make sure it's safe outside. That's wise. There are many more villagers than the ones you've already dealt with. All right, I'll be back for you, sir. You stay here. Keep doing your stretches. Alright, angry villagers. Anyone else want to fight? Was there more to do going up? I don't know. I assume it's just going to open up another thing on the world map. Because I think this is all Haven is. But I'm not actually seeing any villagers. And I, I feel like I'm just wasting my time looking around for them. What about that dude? Is this a scarecrow? Oh, it's a scarecrow. It looks like some dude with like a big old sword over his shoulder. Can you see that? You know, like the sword there? Anyway. That's right, Jolteon. That's right. Politics. Huh. Alright, I'm just gonna go tell him. Yep, it's probably safe. <laughs> I looked around a little bit, then I got bored, but I think we're good. side bits because I think it just ushered me right inside didn't it cutscene yeah all right Jenny TV I'm good when you are ah oh, you're back well um I think you should know about Waylon Waylon what about him um they had him killed an imposter was put in his place Oh, poor Waylon. Poor Waylon. Should never have dragged you into this. Make us take you into his hands, my boy. Well, sorry, I have bird perception? What do you mean? I don't know what that means. <laughs> anyway. Oh, are you saying because the scarecrow looked like an actual dude? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? A dude with a sword? Anyway. Um, there'll be time to grieve. I'm sorry, brother. Um, Waylon's out of protecting research. I'm sorry, brother. He believed in me, even when I lost faith in myself. I will honor his memory. Okay, I got it in was the there, end, yeah. Was there uh, something else you wanted to say? Um, I was hoping you could answer some questions. Sure, let's ask questions. All right. What is on your mind? Nothing important. <laughs> Do you know about the knights who were sent to look for you? Yes, of course. How could I forget? Irik said they were ambushed. Some killed, a few brought back to Haven to be questioned. He was so self-righteous about it, so smug. He seemed pleased that he had tortured and murdered these men. I'm sure he was. 
Eric's not going to be bothering anyone else for a while. I'm so sorry, how to spickle. Yeah, I'm so sorry. There's nothing I can do but pray those men have found peace. <sighs> Let's just talk about something else now, shall we? Sounds good. Haven, it's a little odd, isn't it? You don't say. Um, the ashes will, will cure him, won't they? I certainly hope the ashes will save him. The legends speak of their miraculous powers. There are many stories of pilgrims being healed, the blind seeing, and the lame dancing in joy. Perhaps it is Andraste that does this. Perhaps it is belief itself. By believing the ashes are magical, you make them so. Yeah, placebo. <laughs> or Santa Claus. It is Andraste here, compassion for others lives on. Um, sure. Anyway, that can be discussed once we actually have the ashes, and the Arl is better. All right, let's go. So run along and get that medallion, then. This one? Yes, that is your key. Take me to the mountainside, and I will show you. Done deal. All right, let's leave now. Oh, good. Help me up here. I'll try not to slow us down. You're going to, but I appreciate the effort. When picking targets, enemies are drawn to heavier armor. If you're wearing light armor, foes are more likely to go after your party members instead. Oh. Really? I'd almost think that they would pick out a lot of the... the heavier, or the easier people first. Well, that's cool. I mean, good, because I, I want them to attack me and Alistair before, you know, Morrigan and Liliana. So that much is good to know. Oh, here we are at the temple. That was fast. I don't think it quick saved. If it did, well, I did it again. Here we are. Give me the medallion, and let's see if I remember. He was actually yes, walking quite well, for the record. His neck, something's wrong. Just like this. And there. A key to open the way. Um. How did you know how to do that? There are very few keys like this left in the world. But I have seen some. When you find the right combination, it just feels right. It is hard to explain. Now, let's see if we can open this door. There should be a place to insert this. There, that ought to do it. Yes, you did well. Also, you're walking again, just totally smoothly. Oh, what I would give to have seen this hall in all its splendor, as it was meant to be. Still, sweep away the ice and the snow, and traces of beauty remain. I would hope so. You need to stay alert now, brother. I'm sorry, what? Uh, I was a little distracted, I apologize. These carvings were created just after Andraste's death, and they may reveal things about her life that we do not yet know. I think I need more time to study these statues and carvings. Fine by me. Um, but I can't wait for you. You want to stay here? Is it safe? Um, that might keep you out of trouble for it. Yeah, number two. I could not keep up with you with my injuries. I should be safe. I don't think there are any villagers here. Go. I will be all right. Perhaps my destiny was only to lead you to the Ann. Maybe so. Um, is there anything else I need to know? It was designed to protect the Ann from those who would steal it or do harm to it. Namely, the Taventer Imperium. What sort of dangers are we talking about here? I'm not sure. The legends were never very specific on that point. Ah. Only the faithful shall lay eyes on the sacred ashes. Death and misfortune await the unbeliever. The Maker's gaze has fallen on Andraste's final resting place. He weeps for his beloved, and his wrath at her betrayers endures. I see. So it is the wrath of the Maker that strikes men down? The legends are nothing but a jumble of superstitions. The Maker, the Maker's here. Um, number two sounds more sarcastic, so... That is what the legend says, and the Maker may indeed watch this place. Read between the lines, however, and you'll understand that it is merely a simple truth draped in hyperbole and metaphor. After all, no one wants to hear Willie toiled for many a year to perfect the curious mechanisms that would send a sharpened spike up the arse of the unwary intruder. I'm sure someone wants to hear that. Traps, then? Cunning. Oh, that sounds bad. Yeah, cunning. 
I think my decision to stay here was the best one, don't you? Yeah, sounds good. I will be back soon. I'll be right here if you need me. Now I need something to write on. Oh, I don't think I have blank vellum, I'm sorry. Alright. Time to explore the ice temple. Cue outro, go!